I'm going to start highlighting campaign ads on the channel, mainly because I, I think it's incredibly important to see just what kind of gaslighting and insanity we're up against. And I'll do my best to disprove and debunk all the nonsense, right? But guys, I'm going to start with this one. Have a look at what Kamala Harris expects you to believe. They'll stop at nothing. Well, I got rid of Roe v. Wade. The Republican Party is committed to banning access to abortion for all women in this country. But Kamala Harris won't back down. Vice President Harris hammers Republicans on the issue of abortion rights for women. With so much at stake, we don't have time to waste. Resilient, relentless, fighter. The time is now. Women vote is responsible for the content of this ad. Don't ever trust anything, any ad, political ad especially, that has anything from MSNBC. And honestly, I think that they do that so they can get away with saying something so blatantly false and not get sued. Something like, you know, the Republican Party is committed to banning access to abortion for all women in this country is what they said. Ridiculous, provably false. But then they go on to say, you know, there's so much at stake, you know, Kamala Harris won't back down. Apparently, according to them, she's a relentless and resilient fighter. But here's the problem with that. Aside from a few strongly worded salads, she's never been in the fight. And no Democrats have, man. Just to put it in perspective, in the time since Roe v. Wade was decided, which is over 50 years now, there's been all kinds of prominent, you know, supporters of abortion, people who really were in the fight. They've come around and they've said that it was wrongly decided and it was in danger of being overturned if the right abortion case ever made it before the court. RBG said it. She knew this. Hillary Clinton has said it. She knew this. And actually, every single Democrat knew this. And you know that they knew it because every time a seat came open on the Supreme Court, under a Republican president at least, it was all they would talk about. You know, they would ask the appointee basically for assurances that abortion was safe. So every single one of them knew that Roe was decided wrong, right? But but what did they actually do on behalf of their constituents that really, truly do care about that issue? They did nothing. And they did absolutely nothing. And they did all that nothing on purpose. I'm telling you, man, in the 50 years since Roe, state legislatures have passed hundreds of abortion laws and they've debated hundreds and hundreds more. But the federal government did absolutely nothing. And I think the reason is pretty clear. You know, Democrats, they've always viewed abortion as nothing more than an opportunity to fundraise and to fearmonger, right? The people that actually believe that the elected members of the left have ever had any intention of protecting your so-called rights, anyone who believes that has been completely fooled. And the sad thing is, most of them will never, ever be able to look objectively at this and see it. They just believe the fearmongering, they perpetuate the fearmongering, and that is all this issue has ever been on the federal level. But that's just my take. I thought you deserved to see that. Let me know your thoughts in the comments, guys. And if you haven't already, be a part of our growth. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe. Most importantly, share the channel. I'll see you in the next one.